So today what we're going to look at is this USB cable here. Now the interesting thing about this is that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You can see the little power light isn't activating on here. This is actually a Firefox phone, BT dubs. Um, however, if I swap that USB cable out for this one, let me just plug this sucker in. Um, you should see the power light come on. Oops. Am I plugging it in the right way? No. Okay. Well, that's just confusing. Oh, the power light's right there, right? So it comes on. Then I'm able to list devices on my computer. You can see here the device is listed. So I'll swap back to the other USB cable. I'm going to plug this one in again. And I, I promise you, sometimes this one works, but sometimes it doesn't. Now, there's an easy way to diagnose the problem here. You know, because the problem could be on this end, or it could be on this end, and one is likely to wonder, like, you know, like, how could I fix this? And there's actually a really easy way. Now, the problem is these ends right here. And there's actually a really simple fix. It's called Monoprice. You just click on monoprice.com and you type in USB micro. Then instead of spending $15 on one USB cable that breaks, you can spend, let's see here, uh, $10 on 20 USB cables that break. And now, here you can see that for $11.80, I can get 20 cables that break. Then when one breaks, I throw the friggin' thing away so it doesn't confuse me anymore and I don't accidentally pick it up like I just did 15 minutes ago with this sucker and then spend time debugging thinking, oh, what's wrong? Is the phone not in debug mode? Is the Android service not started on my computer? Why can't I program this phone? It's because the freaking cable's bad. Problem solved.